Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing a wonderfully versatile all-arounder from Jeger Le Coult of La Santier, Switzerland. This timepiece is the Master Geographic, 39 millimeters in diameter in stainless steel. It's 11.9 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip, a compact 46.8 millimeters, but it sprawls out a little bit more at 52.3 millimeters from end length to end length, the total distance across the wrist with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now throwing it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see it wears broad and flat. It's low enough with its sloped bezel that it will fit underneath the dress cuff, but with the end links stretching out across the wrist, I would say as it is, you want to wear it on a wrist of 14 centimeters circumference or larger. Uh, the timepiece has a wonderfully low profile, and it is really somewhere between a dress watch and a sports watch, a category I like to describe as an all-arounder. Taking a quick look at the bracelet, this is a feature you don't find on many JLC watches. They seem to be predominantly strap-clad watches, but their bracelet is a wonderful piece, dating back to the design coined for the Reverso Grand Sport in the late 90s. It's a five-link design with polished intermediates on their flanks, and you can see that the polished intermediate flanks contrast with the satin tops of the intermediates, and then we have polished outer links on both their sides and their tops. So we have a lot of contrast of alignment, link size, and finish. Then you can see that we have pins used to fix all the removable links, and you can see there are quite a few removable links, so you're going to get the right size. There are also nice gaps on the underside calculated to avoid pinching skin or pulling hair. Now inside each side of the clasp, there is a small 1.5 millimeter adjustment between 1.5 and 2.5 millimeters, and that is on both sides. So you wind up with potentially as much as five millimeters of in or out adjustment. It works like a Rolex Easy Link, though the interval adjusted is smaller. We have here a double deployment clasp that has a unique quadruple trigger arrangements, so you have to press all four of them to open up the clasp. It's quite secure and it's suited to sports watches. Now taking a look at the case, you can see that the looks are surprisingly thin when viewed end on. We have an integrated end link for the bracelet, so this does look like it was designed for the bracelet from the outset. And you can see that there's an expanding bevel on the side of the lugs, polished lug hoods, laterally satinated mid case, and then we have a crown at approximately 10 o'clock that's used for setting the reference city, and then we have the Corona de Remontage, or the winding crown that also sets the time over at three o'clock. We have a little pusher that is used for indexing the radial date, and then we have a power reserve indicator, and the power reserve of this watch is just over 40 hours. So we have a second time zone, and it works like a hybrid of a world time and a dual time watch. It actually incorporates both elements. So you set your reference city down at six o'clock. So I'm in New York. Take note, by moving to the adjacent index, you see how there's a little extension for New York. You could see that second time zone is ready to spring forward or fall back based on summer and winter time. And so every city that uses alternate summer and winter time has that little extension adjacent to it. You can see Saint Bart does not have it, but New York and Mexico do. So that's there for you to use as a reference when the clocks turn over. Now the dial is a lovely gloss black, and you can see it has several sunken sub-registers for complications. JLC has been using this geographic complication since approximately 1989, and it's one of their original innovations. You have the second time zone that includes a day-night indicator adjacent, and if I wish, I can set that second time zone independently of the time at center, but for the most part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that as my reference city. So set the time on the second time zone in your reference city, and then, for example, if I want to travel to Georgia in the Caucasus, not in the south of the United States. The secondary time zone will do all the math for me, stepping the hour hand forward and backwards. And there are 24 primary cities to represent the 24 primary time zones of the world. So these reference cities don't take into account all of the time zones, and there's over three dozen of them at this point, but you do have 24 reference cities for the 24 principal time zones. You've also got a radial date, of course, the power reserve indicator, though you don't need to manually wind the watch. It has a JLC caliber 939 on the reverse side, between 40 and 43 hours of power reserve, unidirectional winding with high efficiency ceramic rotor bearings, 4 hertz beat rate, 34 pivot joules, and then it has a durable free sprung architecture for the balance 
The watch does include hacking or stop seconds. And, of course, this movement includes an element of hand finishing and also artisanal execution that includes fired blued screws. So the screws used here are kiln fired, not chemically dyed. All of this is 50 meters water resistant. And then it goes through the master 1,000 hours control, which is a test of power reserve, winding efficiency, shock resistance, water resistance, and, of course, chronometry. It is a full battery test of the assembled watch that lasts one thousand hours, so almost 42 days, whereas the COSC tests for only two weeks, and then it only tests the bare movement. This is a test of the full watch. And because this watch is a quasi-sports watch, it's steel, full bracelet, automatic winding, and well-loomed. You have that refinement present as well. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.